Hi, this is Pranay Sharma and this is our second video in the series of Equation in Microsoft Word. Now in this and the next video, we'll be talking about all the different types of shortcuts we'll be using to create our equation in our equation editor. If you have not checked out my previous video, the link would be in the description. And in that video, I've talked about different ways of creating all the different types of equations. Now let's get started with the shortcuts. And the first thing we are going to learn is going to be superscript and subscript. Now creating our equation editor, I've talked about that before. We use alter and equal to. Now after creating, the first thing we are going to see is superscript. If I want to write, let's say x raised to 5. I will use X and for raise to, I'll be using that symbol that would be above six. So shift six and then I'll say five X raised to five. If I press space, I will get X raised to five. Now space is going to be very important as well as our backslash backslash is nothing but above enter. Now, whenever we require backslash, I'll be talking about it. So this is how we create our superscript. If I want to create subscript, I'll be using X underscore and then let's say one. So this gives me nothing but X one. If I want to use both of them together, I'll be using X underscore one and then raise to two. It does not matter the sequence you can have raised to first and then underscore it will give you the same result. It takes your raised to part in the superscript and uh, the underscore part in the subscript. Now you need space bar a lot every time to um, for the equation editor to know that we have finished with our uh, script. We will be using space bar and then it converts into appropriate value. Now, if I want my superscript and subscript before our whatever figure we are talking about, like combination, I'll be using again alter plus and I would say in bracket, write raise to let's say n, then underscore r. And if I close bracket and write c, then I press space. Now you can see that the my superscript and sub subscript is before so it is basically pre scripts okay so it's before my value and if i want to write ncr in a different way uh, where n is in the previous pre value and r is in the later value for that i would be writing raise to n and I cannot just write raise to n in the bracket. I have to write also underscore value, but I'll keep the underscore value blank and I'll say underscore C and then underscore R. This gives me NCR in this form. Similarly, when we talk about our actuarial values, we write NPR. If I want to write N, then P and then R, my, both of them N and uh, NPX where n and x both are in subscripts we write it as again i will keep raise to blank and i'll say underscore n bracket p and then underscore x now this is how we write our npx now if i want to write superscript with another superscript like x raised to y raised to z for that all i'll do is x raised to y but if i just write raised to z what happens here is it would take y raised to z and then i will press space again and i get x raised to y raised to z the other way would be i'll put bracket in y raised to z i will get x raise to and then in bracket y raise to z bracket close and then space both of these ways you will get x raise to y raise to z you can write an elaborate equation in your subscript how to do that if you just write you know e raise to 
and if you start ax plus b if you write ax plus as soon as you write plus your ax goes in the superscript the uh, the equation editor assumes that you are finished writing whatever you were going to write in your superscript so if i want to write ax plus b in the numer in the superscript i will write it as e raised to and in the bracket i will write ax plus b and then press space and you will get e raised to ax plus b so whenever you are writing an elaborate equation in superscript or in subscript always use brackets okay so for uh, square root what we do is we use backspace oh, sorry not backspace backslash now what's our backslash i'll just show you i'll have alter equal to and for backslash the value is above your enter so i'll have backslash and then we write s q r t and as soon as i press space you will find that it goes it shows me a square root but if i write something it will not be uh, writing that bar above these particular values so what we do is after writing backslash sqrt we press space and we press space again now it creates that box inside that square root that is what we want and then we'll press back arrow to select that box and then we can write whatever we want okay so let's say root x Now, if I want cube root, I can just write my backsplash, backslash and CBRT cube root. And if I press space, you can see cube root again, nothing on the top. I'll space again. And now I have a box in which I can write 9. We know that cube root of 9. Actually, cube root of 9 is nothing. <laughs> I'll write let's say 27 cube root of 27 would be equal to 3. Okay. If you want to write some nth root, okay, let's say I want to write 10th root. Okay. So for that, we'll be using our backslash sqrt, the whole square root and then in bracket we'll first write which root we want let's say nth root so i'll say n and then we use the term and above your seven so shift seven and let's say i want to write a plus b so i'll have a bracket a plus b and then bracket close and another bracket close and when i press space i'm going to get nth root of a plus b similarly i could have written instead of nth root, 5th root, 10th root, 1, one and a half root, whatever you want to write instead of n. And after writing this, you can change again. You can go back here and change this to 5th root. Okay, so you can do all the editing later on as well. Now, whenever we need to make a fraction, we'll just use the division. Okay, if I want to write 5 divided by 2, I'll write 5 divided by 2 and that is our forward slash. So backslash, backslash and forward slash are different. And if I press space, I get 5 by 2. If I do not want it to convert it into this form, okay. So for that, I'll use 5, then divided by and uh, then I will have my backslash. I think backslash should be before. I, I'll just... I think backslash would be first and then divide by 2 and you can see even after I press space nothing happens. So it keeps that particular division value in that form. So if you want it in this particular form you will have to first press your backslash then your forward slash and then divide by whatever value you want. And similarly let's say I want to write an elaborate equation. Okay let's say I want to write now my quadratic equation um, root form so i will say x is equals to now first i want divided by so for that i'll open brackets and then divided by another close brackets okay this would be my numerator and denominator you can write it in a linear form i'm just showing you okay then i will have minus b 
for plus minus all i have to write is plus and minus it auto it automatically takes it as plus minus if i want to write minus plus again the same thing i can do minus plus as well okay all you have to do is type it so plus minus and then for under root i'll say sqrt and then space space and here i will have b square so b raised to 2 b square space and then minus 4ac 4ac and then i'll go out and in my denominator by 2a and after everything is over if i press space you will see that it converts it into a fraction greek letters are very simple all we use is our backslash and then we write the name of that greek letter like alpha i'll just write alpha and i press space i get alpha if i want to write beta i'll say slash beta and space now this is very case sensitive you cannot write capital b or whole everything in capital if i want to write pi i'll write backslash pi but if i write backslash backslash capital p capital i and i press enter nothing happens if my just p is capital it gives me a capital pi capital pi looks like this capital alpha capital uh, beta just looks like a and b so if i write slash capital a l p h a you will see it's just a capital a okay so because a lot of our english letters were taken from greek letters that is why capital values a lot of them are similar if i want to show you gamma i'll say slash gamma f gamma if i want lambda backslash lambda i have lambda now i can use my subscripts and superscripts with these like if i want sigma square i'll say backslash sigma and then raise to two now i did not use space after writing sigma as soon as i put the raise to sign it understood that i have completed writing whatever after backslash so it converted into sigma and then here space i get sigma square if i am writing chi square I'll say backslash chi okay chi and then I want square so for that I'll say raise to 2 and if I say degree of freedom underscore and degree of freedom I'll take as new so I will have this and and u if I press space it converts this into new another space it converts it into chi square degree of freedom new if I want capital letters like omega that is different from our small letters uh, or uh, from our english alphabet i will use o m e g a and i get omega if i want capital gamma i'll say backslash capital g m m a again only the first letter should be capital okay i put one too many m's and here i get gamma for delta i will say d e l t a delta here we go now this way you can write any and all greek letters if you write your capital first letter as small so you'll get small letters if you write first letter as capital you get capital letters now a lot of them like kappa like alpha beta um, these are all basic letters of our english so i have not mentioned that here now let's move on to a few more symbols now we use multiplication symbol a lot so for that we have our backslash and times and you will get this symbol if you want to use division symbol you will say backslash div and i get my division symbol if you want approximate symbol you will say backslash a p p r o x approx and I space I get my approximation symbol if I want infinite symbol for that I have backslash I n f t y again space I get infinity symbol if I want degree for angle or maybe writing degree Celsius degree Fahrenheit for that I have backslash 
D E G R E E degree and then space. Now, most of them are very intuitive symbols, but a lot of them we might not remember very easily. So I have made a list of a few. Okay, we use belongs to especially when we are writing set. So I for that we have backslash I N and we get this belongs to symbol. The reverse of that is just backslash N I and we get this symbol. If you want your um, union uh, symbol and uh, for that we use backslash we have cup cup and we get our union symbol for our uh, the other one we have backslash cap i think um, then for subset we'll be using backslash right subset we get our subset symbol if you want subset equal to so for that backslash we have our subset eq and we get our subset equal to okay so this way we can you can make superset as well for superset again all you have to do is backslash write superset superset and we get this again if you want superset equal to you will say backslash uh, superset eq and we get our superset equal to now in the next video i have talked about more symbols as well as different kinds of operators that we will be using so i'll finish the video here and we'll meet in the next one